After I can do this. Somehow I know it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the 10 most popular reasons why you should be watching Prime Video's latest animated hit series, Has Been Hotel. Be warned, there will be slight spoilers, we have to tell you why it's good, and mature content ahead. Good job! Number 10. It all started with a successful pilot. Before getting picked up by Amazon Prime, has Been Hotel originally got its start on YouTube after series creator Vivian Vivzi Pop Madrano posted it back in 2019. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. After it aired, its popularity exploded online as it quickly amassed a cult following. It's been praised for its animation, cast of memorable characters, and musical elements. Have you one of a kind, the charming Demon Bell? At the time of this video's release, the pilot has been viewed more than 99 million times and is currently the second most popular video on Madrano's YouTube channel. And this time I have the element of surprise! <laughs> I'm so evil! If you're new to the Has Been Hotel fandom, it's worth checking out this amazing piece of indie animation that set the groundwork for something truly incredible. The game is set! Number 9. It's gotten rave reviews, and there's more on the way. After more than four years of waiting, fans of Has Been Hotel were beyond excited to hear that the show had gotten picked up by Amazon Prime. So, what do you think? And sure enough, this A24 production did not disappoint. Following its debut, Has Been Hotel has received majorly positive reviews from critics and currently holds a Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 85%. Now that's good television! The show even set a new Prime Video streaming record for the highest global debut viewership for an animated series, overtaking even the likes of Invincible. With Season 2 currently in development, fans can expect plenty of fun times ahead as Vivian Madrano and company strive to make the next season even better than the first. The show, it must go on. Number 8. It's not afraid to delve into mature themes. While Has Been Hotel can be humorous at times, this mature audience-rated series has proven that it has no problem dealing with mature subject matter. Val, I didn't know that you... <laughs> Val, I... <laughs> you really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? In the show's fourth episode, Masquerade, we witness how Angel Dust, one of the hotel's residents, suffers abuse at the hands of his boss, the ruthless overlord Valentino. I own you. Or have you forgotten that? No. The events of this episode are not a pretty sight as viewers learn more about why Angel Dust acts the way he does, the pain and suffering he endures, as well as how he struggles to cope with it all while being forced to obey Valentino. Now you're gonna go get rid of her and then you're filming all night! Get me? Yes. This episode and the mature themes it explores have quite an impact and are a major reason why it's considered one of the best episodes of season one. You think after how you treated me, I'm gonna open up to you? Please. Number 7. The World Building Among the many highlights of Has Been Hotel, most critics were quick to praise the series for its world building. The series primarily takes place in Hell, specifically in Pentagram City in the Pride Ring. How long has it been now? Not that long. Only seven years off doing something important, I'm sure, but this kingdom was something she really cared about. Throughout season one, we're introduced to several new characters who live in various locations across the pentagram, ranging from the adult entertainment district to the surprisingly classy cannibal town. But it's, it's surprisingly nice here. Isn't it though? The series even takes viewers to heaven itself, introducing its inhabitants and leaders. Dearly beloved, it is my pleasure to say unto thee, welcome to heaven. Oh. Furthermore, thanks to Vivian Madrano's hit web series Hell of a Boss, which exists in the same universe, we know that there is even more to hell than just the pride ring. It's also pretty interesting how both shows remind us of this by occasionally referencing each other now and then. Is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No? This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Number 6. It's a redemption story. Aside from adult humor, disorderly hijinks, and exhilarating musicals, one of Has Been Hotel's primary themes is redemption. And I'm 
must be annoying to schlep all the way here. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. With the people of hell forced to endure yearly exterminations by heaven's brutal enforcers, protagonist Charlie Morningstar tries to save them by using her hotel to rehabilitate sinners and get them into heaven. Unfortunately, she quickly learns that achieving said goal is easier said than done. You, uh, you good? Nope. No, not really. <laughs> I've been up all night trying to figure out why the hotel isn't working. While exploring themes of morality and redemption, the show also flips the script on the traditional perceptions of good and evil, proving that despite being in hell, not all sinners are bad. Like how not angels in heaven are good. Well, if you know so much, what do you think it takes to get into heaven? Um. Now as for whether or not Charlie's ideals are correct, you'll just have to watch the series to find out. Honors, may I present Exhibit A. Number 5, Alistair the Radio Demon. If you're a fan of topsy-turvy characters with a penchant for mischief, then Alistair the Radio Demon is yet another reason to tune into Has Been Hotel. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. Along with serving as the hotel's facility manager, Alistair, known for his trademark smile and radio voice, also holds the title of Overlord, making him one of hell's most powerful sinners. On the outside, Alistair seems like a charismatic individual who enjoys messing with people. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice! What a dated voice! Instead of a clout-chasing, mediocre video podcast. Come on. However, once he unleashes his inner demon, all hell breaks loose. Your status quo will know its race is run. Be it his enemies or allies, anyone who crosses Alistair learns the hard way how he got such a fearsome reputation. The fact that there are still plenty of mysteries surrounding Alistair and his true motives only fuels the allure of his character. Oh, I just took a well-earned sabbatical, nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> Number 4. Its cast is Broadway-worthy. It takes a special kind of cast to bring a dark comedy musical like Has Been Hotel to life. There was a time I thought that no one could relate. Along with a few voice artists from Hell of a Boss and some renowned acting legends, the show also decided to recruit some of the best voices on Broadway. Cause right now we need a leader and it seems to me that destiny has picked me to be that if you'll permit me so who's with me? Featuring the likes of Erica Henningsen, Amir Talai, Christian Borel, Alex Brightman, Jeremy Jordan, Keith David, as well as Stephanie Beatrice voicing some of its best characters, Has Been Hotel also includes the musical talents of composers Sam Haft and Andrew Underberg, who helped produce its killer soundtrack. Thanks to its talented cast, Has Been Hotel's musical potential brings the best out of its characters and enhances the storytelling of this pleasantly chaotic world. We can do this, we can build it, best hotel that you've ever seen. Number 3. Its animation quality and art style is top notch. Over the years, Vivian Medrano has developed quite a reputation for creating amazing animated works. Good sh Aside from the Has Been Hotel pilot, her notable works also include Bad Luck Jack, music videos like Angel Dust's Addict, as well as Hell of a Boss. When the pilot first aired, many described it as being a positive influence on indie animation. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little brawl gonna cause? Over four years later, Has Been Hotel returned better than ever, with updated character designs and an even more fluid and vibrant animation style thanks to the efforts of Bento Box Entertainment and Medrano's Spindle Horse tunes. All right, uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. With its animation and art style elevated to even greater heights, Has Been Hotel serves as a reminder of the incredible potential for change within the field of adult animation. Thanks for caring about me. <laughs> Number 2. A Cast of Hellish Characters Another reason to get excited about Has Been Hotel is its cast of unique characters who are a big part of the show's chaotic energy. There's a warm, fuzzy feeling that walks through the air. Whether it's Charlie's upbeat attitude, Faggy's tough yet kind personality, Angel Dust's hardcore and sensitive sides, or even Alistair's charismatic yet dangerous nature, each character stands out in their own unique way, while also experiencing key moments that help them to further develop and evolve. Alistair! Failed to get rid of the eggs, I see. 
Yes, well, the little monsters prove to be rather useful. There are also quite a few antagonists that keep the has-been crew on their toes, such as the less-than-holy Adam, as well as the villainous overlord trio of Vox, Velvet, and Valentino. <laughs> With Season 2 on the way, these characters will have even more opportunities to grow as they face new challenges and continue their misadventures at the Has-Been Hotel. We're doing it with a smile. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hellraising Musicals Has-Been Hotel has got everything from action, drama, comedy, and a hell of a lot of bloody good moments. However, its greatest strength is without a doubt its amazing musical numbers. You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. Not only are the songs highly entertaining, but they're also unique to each character providing them with their time in the spotlight, as well as enhancing the show's storytelling. Whether it's Carmilla trying to put Velvet in her place with Respectless, Angel showing the depths of his suffering with Poison, or him performing an upbeat duet with Husk in Loser Baby, the show's soundtrack features several songs guaranteed to move your soul and put a pep in your step to help you keep up with its chaotic brand of energy. For the first time in our lives, we know that we are ready for this. What reasons do you have for checking out Vivian Medrano's animated masterpiece? Let us know in the comments below. Now, stay tuned. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.